What's up guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you'll stick around for a bit. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you guys hear the kids upstairs, it's because it's the middle of the day and like I said in my last video, we've got a lot going on up here. So thankfully Gianna's taking a nap, Jojo is upstairs having lunch and Boog is being Boog. <laughs> So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how we successfully wean Gianna off of her passy. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that Gianna is two and a half years old and she is just now letting go of her passy. It's something that Q and I have been wanting to wean her off of for a while, but I didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to force it because honestly, to me, um, it wasn't a big deal that she was still using her passy and around, I want to say maybe her first birthday or maybe one and a half, we started giving it to her only at nap time and at bedtime. So for about a year, she's been having it only during her sleep time. And I wanted her to be able to give it up when she was ready, not when I just felt like she should be done with it. So I kind of filmed bits and pieces of us like trying to encourage her to drop the passy, but I didn't want to be like talking with my vlog camera like, yeah, so you know, we're getting Gianna off her passy. So that's why you'll just kind of see intermittent clips um, during this video. And the reason I felt like now was a good time was because I could just start to tell that she was actually reaching for her passy more often. She was doing it more so for attention um, now because of course we have Jojo and he has his passy. So whenever he was getting a lot of attention or he would be playing with his passy, she would like run to her room and kind of start acting like a baby and mimicking Jojo and like putting her passy in her mouth. And I was like, okay, I think it's time. <laughs> So like I said, I wanted to try to do it in like the least traumatizing way, if you will. I knew she would be perfectly fine without it, but I didn't want to just take it from her and be like, you're a big girl, you know, big girls don't need passies. I wanted to do it in a way that would empower her and let her feel like it was her choice and that she felt like a big girl and that she didn't need it anymore. So uh, I follow this page on Instagram called Big Little Feelings. I'll insert their handle right here so you guys can go check them out. They're a great parenting resource and I like literally follow them daily for parenting tips and tricks and one of the things they talk about is the passy fairy so if you're not familiar with it i have the book right here this is the passy fairy book and basically it's a book about a passy fairy similar to the tooth fairy that will come take your kids passy and leave them like a present behind and for one i tried this book first and she just did not like this book she was like mm, mommy no i don't want to hear about the passy fairy <laughs> And two, it's just kind of lengthy. Like even on the pages, there are a lot of words. I ended up having to like kind of remix it to make my own words because it was just too long and she would just get really uninterested pretty quickly. So I don't know. You can maybe try this one out, see if your kid likes it, or maybe you can just introduce the idea of the Passy Fairy without the book. But Gage loves books. We read books like throughout the day. So I thought using books was a really easy way to get her comfortable with the idea of ditching her Passy. And this book just didn't work. She started to look at the Passy Fairy like somebody that wanted to come and take her Passy. And I was like, okay, she's supposed to be the good guy, not the villain. So I left this book and decided to Actually, Quincy found this book. Q found this one. It's called Goodbye Passy, and it's about a little girl. Ironically, her name is Gianna, um, and she has curly hair. She's cute. And she really liked this book. So I kind of got everyone on the same page, like, okay, guys, this is it. This is what we're gonna do. This is the book we're gonna read to her for about a week so she can get familiar with Goodbye Passy. And the premise of the story is when you're ready, when the big girl is ready, you can send your Passy to Passy Land to hang out with all of the Passy friends and then you get a big lollipop, a big girl lollipop. Here is Passy Land. And when your toddler is ready, you get some balloons and I don't know if you can see, you tie their passies to the balloons and it takes the passy away to passy land where they can be with all of their friends. And she goes to school or she's been to school. She knows what it means to be with your friends, to have fun, to be happy. And because she loved her passy so much, she wanted that for her passy. So after reading this book, I thought it was gonna take a week, but it only took maybe like three days. And without me even asking, she was like, mommy, I wanna send my passy to passy land. And I was like, so that night that she said it, I just kind of prepped her like, okay, baby, this is, you know, gonna be your last night with your Passy. And then tomorrow we're gonna send your Passy to Passy land and you're gonna get your big girl lollipop. Pizza. 
Yeah, what are you gonna do with your pink passy tomorrow? Are we gonna send it to the sky? So it can go to Passy Land mm -hmm. with all of its Passy friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, because you're a big girl now, right? Mm -hmm. And then what are you going to get? Um, pink lollipop. A pink lollipop? Mm -hmm. In exchange for your pink Passy? Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to sleep tight with your Passy tonight, okay? okay. Because tomorrow we're going to say goodbye, Passy. Goodbye, Passy. Okay, say good night. Good night. <laughs> she was so excited. She brought it up to me. She's like, Mommy, today we send my Passy to Passy Land. And I'm like, Yes, just hyping her up the entire time. Q got the balloons, and I told her to go get all of the Passies that she has, and we got them all ready to send off. All right, guys, so today is the day. Q got the balloons. I just attached her Passies to them, so I'm about to. Take him outside. Let's see if she's still as excited. <laughs> My face. Okay, I want to focus. I'm trying to focus on you, baby. Why? You see him? Wow! <laughs> there we go. You got your balloons, Cheech? <laughs> Look! Look! There's your passies on there. You see your passies on there? Look down there. Down there. Look, you see your passies on there? Ready to go to Passy Land? You ready? Yeah. Okay, can I, wait, don't let it go yet. <laughs> can I take your picture first like a big girl? Okay, hold on. Can you make mommy smile? Up to Passy Land. land to be with their friends and guess what huh? now <laughs> guess what big girls get oh, yeah, yeah, look <gasps> look Jeech <Gigi. laughs> you still trying to see him bye bye Passy <laughs> look Jeech <Gigi. gasps> wow look at that big girl lollipop you want to open it? Oh, hi. Oh, hi, I see you, Passy. See you, Passy. I see you, Passy. Bye bye, Passy. See you. Bye bye, Passies. Uh oh, we had a little accident, but that's okay. Look, it broke, but that's okay. Boy. You still get to have the whole thing all to yourself. Ooh, is that white. good? White. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> are you proud of you? Yes, you are proud of yourself. That's good. I'm glad. I literally couldn't have asked for it to go any better. The balloons went off, she was so happy. She's like, bye, Passy. It was so cute. And then I was like, okay, now we just have to make it to nighttime and see how that goes down. Where's my Passy? Huh? Where's my Passy? Remember, your Passy went to Passy Land. <laughs> I want Passy. Okay, come here. <laughs> Are you okay? No? Okay, let me wipe your face. Okay, look, let's see. No? 
my Patsy. Yeah, but your Patsy's gone bye bye, baby. Yeah. What's up, Mama? What's the matter? See, we're just having a little, a little moment, right? But you're okay. Don't kiss. Get that ice on kiss. Get that ice on kiss. Pick a book so we can go to bed. With this one. This one, okay. Hey, okay, this one. And this one. Sounds good. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. I love you. See, I'm running Patsy in. Yep. Patsy's got to go to Patsy land. Pat See, two. a big one only Patsy. Yeah, big girls don't need passies. Big girls don't need passies. Yeah, big girls don't need passies. Passies for Jojo, right? Passies for Jojo, right? No, passies not for Gianna. Passies for Jojo because he's still a baby. Yeah, yeah passies. I'm a Gianna baby. Yes, Gianna is a big girl. Jojo's a baby. Yes, Jojo's a baby, so he still needs his passies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy and Daddy had a serious talk with Gianna. You're a big girl now, Gianna. Big girls don't need passies. It's time to pass your passy on to someone else who needs it more than you do. Like your little brother. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like your little brother Jojo. This morning, Gianna. See, 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 go, see, go see friends. Passy Land, going to Passy Land. Yeah, the Passy is going to see his friends in Passy Land. Yeah. Gianna and Mommy says, goodbye, Passy. Goodbye, Passy. <laughs> Surprisingly, night one was the only night that was like, we had a little bit of a hard time, but Q was able to go in her room and kind of calm her down and reassure her that it was gonna be okay that she was a big girl and if she needed us we were right downstairs in our bedroom i will also note that it made a huge difference to have like a new stuffed animal so if you consider this approach maybe think about giving them something not to replace their passy but just something extra maybe a stuffed animal on hand that they can hold on to because i just noticed that she was kind of like reaching for her shirt she usually keeps her passy clip like clipped on her passy when it's time for nap time or bedtime and she was just kind of like reaching at it and it made my heart so sad but when i gave her her little poppy stuffed animal she was like holding on to it super tight and i think it just helped give her that extra little bit of comfort to know that you know she was going to be okay and thankfully after that we didn't have any problems it was funny because anytime i could see that she thought about her passy she would just be like mommy my passy's at passy land with his friends and i would just encourage her and be like yes you were you did such a good job you sent your passy with its friends and it's having so much fun you're such a big girl and she would be like yeah i am a big girl so that just made me feel good and like made me think that this was the best approach for us now i know that some people might look at this video and be like y'all did the most 
Maybe we did do the most, I don't know, but it felt right for us. And in this instance, I felt like if we could use this as an opportunity to build her confidence rather than just strip away something that I know that she cares for and loves for, that was the goal. And I felt like it was a success. So I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. If you have kids, let me know if this is something that you would consider, if you've done something like this in the past, or maybe how you successfully weaned your toddler off their passy. I'm sure people would love to know so drop it in the comments if you guys have any additional questions let me know i'm always willing to share and yeah i will see you guys in our next video bye oh also don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff okay bye <laughs>